Last Thursday, we looked at how you could change the text of the modules in .NET Nuke. Today, we want to show you how to add that same capability to your own modules. When you created your module, one of the directories that was created for you was a directory named App Local Resources. You'll see that that directory is located right here, App Local Resources, under your module directory, which is under Desktop Modules. In this directory, you'll see three ResX files that should hold the strings that you'll be using in the module. So we have the edit DMB sample, ASCX.ResX, settings ASCX ResX, and view DMB sample ASCX ResX. Those correspond to the three ASCX files that we created as part of our module. Now, last week, when we introduced this whole concept of, of internationalization, we were down here at the bottom of this file. Let's get ourselves a little bit more space here. Where we had this localization get string, module action type, add content, this local resource file. This local resource file resolves to the name of the ASCX file with the ResX extension uh, added on to it. So we're in the view DMB sample ASCX file, and that resolves to the view DMB sample ASCX ResX file. That's right here. If we go look in this view file, you'll see that we have the add content dot action, which resolves to add content. And that's what this is all going to resolve to. So we run this now. Again. You'll see that's our add content. That's the string that's actually resolving to it. Let's go in. Let's go back here. And just change this content. We'll put some extras at the end so you can see this. And save the file and rerun it. And you'll see that our menus changed to have those XXXs at the end there. Now it's very tempting when you're working with the .NET Nuke module to go ahead and hard code all your strings in the ASCX file, thinking that, well, I don't need to do the internationalization. I'll go back and just do that later. Uh, let me just tell you from experience, it's much easier to do it while you're developing the module than it is to go back and do it later. Uh, and one of the things that you're going to lose out on by trying to hard code everything um, is the flexibility that you get from being able to add and change those strings uh, as needed. So uh, take it from me, do it as you're going, don't try to go back and do it later.